Well, it's been 11 years since an army vet was murdered. Nearly a decade later, her family forced to endure the pain of having to go through yet another trial. Well, tonight, 19 News walking you through what he said and how he's the prosecution's star witness. Brittany Weir has our gavel to gavel coverage from Summit County. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting Chad Cobb to take the witness stand today, but he did. Cobb was married to Erica Stefanko in 2012. She's the woman on trial this week for the murder of Ashley Biggs. Cobb serving a life sentence for killing the mother of his child. Erica Stefanko inside a Summit County courtroom. The facts of a decade old murder case playing out all over again. It was 2012. She and her now ex-husband were in the middle of a bitter custody battle with Ashley Biggs. Prosecutors claim that Stefango and Chad Cobb hatched a plan to kill Biggs and then went through with it. Police say the army vet who worked as a delivery driver for Domino's Pizza was lured to a closed business by the couple. Stefanko allegedly followed Cobb as he dumped Biggs' body in an empty field. During the trial, Cobb said Stefanko was driving him and all of their children to Ashley's work the day she was killed. He also goes into detail about how Stefanko is the one who made the phone call ordering the pizza. Moments ago, the prosecutor then asked Cobb if he acted alone in this murder. Were you at the cornfield alone? No, ma'am. Did you go back to the scene to try to clean up alone? No, ma'am. Did you hide behind a detached garage alone? Uh, when I walked over into the tree line behind my grandparents. Nope, when you were in the car, in the Lincoln Navigator, were you alone? I, I think we're talking about the same thing. Yes. When you drove to your grandparents' house at 731 Rex Lake Road mm -hmm. and went behind that detached garage in the Lincoln Navigator, were you alone? Oh, no, ma'am. Okay. Who was with you during all of that? Um, the defendant. During the questioning, Cobb also said that Stefanko drove him back to the crime scene to look for Big's cell phone. And day one of this trial just wrapped up moments ago with Cobb still on the witness stand. Uh, they ended also by going over pictures of evidence from the day that Ashley Biggs was killed. And coming up at 6, I'll share how the full first day of trial wrapped up. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Weir, 19 News.